to another edition of Know Your History. I'm Mr. Ben for the GCLS Library, and here we are at, uh, standing at the Swedesboro Woolwich Historical Society Museum. Now we're going to take a little tour of the museum. It's in the uh, Borough Hall building on uh, Kings Highway. Uh, it's on the second floor, and uh, this used to be the police station, but now it's uh, turned into the museum for the Historical Society. For years and years, there was no place to put all the artifacts people would donate to the Historical Society, except in private homes or maybe the library. And now uh, we have a home for all the interesting uh, donations and things that people uh, remember about old Swedesboro. Now we're just going to take a little tour here if you want to follow me. You'll recognize General Harker, of course. General Harker, the Civil War general, was killed. Born in Swedesboro, West Point grad, killed at the Battle of Kennesaw Mountain. I always have to get a plug in for General Harker. Well, you can just follow along. And we're just going to take a walk around and see what's here. <clears throat> this is uh, the main foyer. You sign in. Sign into the uh, Historical Society and Museum. Donations appreciated, of course. And here is our first room. And this room has to do with all the businesses in Swedesboro, um, or many of the businesses, I should say, and uh, some of the very interesting items in the display cases, along with photographs of uh, different things. Like, did you know there was a glassworks in um, Swedesboro that operated from about 1880 to the uh, 1920s or so, and they made a lot of interesting glassware, as you can see um, in this uh, display case. Uh, there's also other um, uh, promotional items that uh, advertise the businesses and uh, here in town that some here, some still here, some no longer operating. Uh, here's an interesting item. It's uh, an old and valuable relic that I... <coughs> well. <coughs> Now you kids, when you come into the museum, you remember, don't touch anything. Um, we'll get that later. Okay, let's go on to the next room. Oh, and as we're walking by, you'll see uh, old Swedesboro buildings, the china here. Oh, and uh, ah, here's an interesting item, book about General Harker. Yeah, here it's pretty good. Uh, books for sale, t-shirts and so forth about Swedesboro. Ah, this is a room that you have to see. This is the uh, this is where it all started. This is all about uh, New Sweden, and uh, well, follow along. Um, 1638, New Se New Sweden was established, and uh, of course, Swedesboro was settled by the Swedes and Finns, and uh, recognize the Swedish flag. Uh, of course, before the Swedes were here, you had the Lene Lenape, and we have uh, interesting. Arrowheads that were found uh, in Sweetsboro and there and nearby in Woolwich. Here you have a beautiful cabin. This model it's a little bit dark. I don't know how well you can see it, but it shows uh, the typical Swedish Finnish architecture. When the first settlers arrived, you can see the uh, uh, how they made the cedar logs, the shingles, and so forth of how they would uh, build a cabin here in the New World all starting in 1638. Uh, of course, the town used to be called Raccoon, uh, named after this fellow. So, uh, in 1765, changed to Swedesboro. Uh, before that, it was always known as Raccoon. All right, let's take a... And this, oh, of course, how could I forget? This taking up the half of the room, the uh, Swedish loom. It's very old, and it's... Uh, would be used to spin um, fiber uh, into fabric to make cloth and um, it's uh, used to be at one time it was at the Whitehall House at Red Bank Battlefield and National Park on loan and we have it back now so you can come and see the giant Swedish loom. Here we have in the hallway the uh, history of the ag agriculture of Swedesboro. Of course Swedesboro are many farmers in uh, Swedesboro and uh, Woolwich, and uh, one of the famous uh, businesses in town was the Herf 
canning factory. Now, Mr. Herb started out uh, farming, and he was uh, his, uh, used his entrepreneurial uh, acumen to uh, establish a business in a cannery that was on uh, Church Street, um, and uh, was a, a very large uh, business in its day from 1911 to, uh, I believe, 19, um, 1920s, I think. Correct me on that later. You can look that up. But uh, and here we have a couple aerial views of Swedesboro, and I believe these photographs were taken about 1945 of of the town. There's a very cool walking stick that Dr. Musgrave, uh, who's buried at Lake Park Cemetery, that's his walking stick. Very nice. Um, toll gate in Swedesboro. If you're driving through Swedesboro, you have to pay the toll here on uh, Kings Highway. Um, or the old Salem Road, as it was known. And, uh, well, let's take a look over here in this room. There's a lot of odds and ends, a lot of uh, things that still in uh, the displays are still being uh, developed and laid out. And there's a lot of interesting items in here. Um, here you have a washstand. Uh, you know, without indoor plumbing, you'd have to have that... Uh, in your bedroom, of course, and look, an old sled. Now winter's coming on, and uh, we're almost at Christmas time. And they, of course, uh, they used to go sledding over here at Franklin Street. Only at that time it was called uh, the Mill Hill uh, Road, and uh, you slide down, of course, get the horses and wagons out of the way, and have a gay old time there. Um, we have some ice skates. I'm not going to touch them. Um, Look like some old ice skates and uh, interesting things in a box that we're going to uh, probably put out. Um, so, as you can see, there are lots of different things here in this room, including uh, an old toy rocking horse and some dolls in an old uh, crib. Uh, doesn't look very comfortable in there, ladies, but uh, you have the old uh, crib there for the babies. Okay, let's take a walk around, and I'm going to take you around the corner here. And we have the famous Caproni friezes that were once in Swedesboro High School. Now the high school, you don't have a Swedesboro High School now, it's the Walter Hill School. Walter Hill was the uh, principal at the high school at one time. Caproni was an artist, Italian artist. Who made these and they were on in the hallway if you went into the high school at that time you would see them um, there's more in the, this room which is uh, the education wing of the uh, historical society museum we have uniforms uh, baseball uniforms and uh, more of the caproni friezes you see the roman uh, greco theme uh, goes in line with education I suppose, and also, it's not only historic, it's also art, and, uh, and you have uh, Swedesboro High School, 1933, represented here by uh, different classes and uh, athletic events, track and field, you know, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat, there you have it. So, um, over here we have trophies, multiple Trophies uh, that were once prominently displayed in the high school. They remodeled the school when it, when it became the Walter Hill Elementary School. The uh, high school was uh, remodeled. That's why uh, these things, which were in a shed or a warehouse, um, you know, were left um, kind of abandoned. So the Historical Society acquired them, and they are on display here now today. So you can come in and see them uh, when you get the time. Okay, we're going to move on to the next room. It's called the Civic Room. This is where you have civic-minded people who lived in Swedesboro. People like John C. Rulon, who started the first bank and trust company here in Swedesboro, and Charles Lippincott, who uh, had a hardware store and uh, was a Civil War veteran um, of the 12th New Jersey. Look, we even got a parking meter. And uh, so when you came to Swedesboro, you, you still, um, you know, when you parked, you had to... Uh, Pay the toll and then pay the parking meter. Um, and you have different things, uh, different organizations, uh, fraternal organizations, and uh, 
Oh, here we have the first mayor of Swedesboro, Hugh uh, McCullough, who was also a Civil War veteran. He's buried at Lake Park Cemetery. And uh, he was, uh, when Swedesboro was incorporated, 1902, he became the first mayor of the town. All right, so let's keep moving. Now, this is the military-themed room. And here we have uh, uniforms from World War II and World War One. This is interesting. World War I Army uniform. And uh, you have a um, beautiful photograph of an Army a World War I soldier. And we also have um, portraits of Lippincott, I'm sorry, uh, jo uh, Harker and uh, William Jeffers, who as many people do not know, he was actually in command of the USS Monitor. He was a native of Swedesboro, was born in Swedesboro, grew up in Bridgeton, uh, Naval uh, Academy graduate, and uh, he was in command of the Monitor for a time after its historic duel with the USS, or CSS Virginia. Um, you can see pictures of soldiers, and uh, this is a very uh, compelling uh, photographs of those who were killed in World War II, including Mildred Shimp, who was an Army nurse who was uh, serving with the Army in North Africa. And when uh, following the Army, when they went to Italy, she was killed tragically in a truck accident. Mildred Shimp, she's buried at Lake Park Cemetery. So this is some very cool, very interesting and um, <clears throat> moving information right here in this room. Um, as I mentioned, um, over here, this used to be, uh, this was in the, this was a police office. We don't have a uh, police force anymore in Swedesboro. It's a Woolwich police, but um, this was, uh, you know, how tall am I with this top hat? I don't know. I must be over six feet. Um, so here is our what was the police department, and you see some wanted posters, and uh, thieves and murderers beware. So, uh, $200 reward for that guy, dead or alive. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This is, uh, we've done a, a real uh, whirlwind tour of the uh, Swedesboro Woolwich Historical Society Museum, but you wanna, you're going to want to come when this pandemic is over and spend some real time here examining the artifacts and just taking time and going back into history. And uh, normally the Historical Society Museum would be open on uh, every third Sunday, uh, hours uh, one to four, and uh, or by appointment, you could come and see all this, all these wonderful items and artifacts uh, for yourself. Well, that's about all uh, we have time for today. I hope you'll join me for the next edition of Know Your History. And until then, be safe. Bye-bye.